It's a search for that piece to a puzzle buried under mountains of trash in a landscape so remote in pitch black. The search area more than 40 times the size of Los Angeles. You're not only fighting your depths, you're fighting maneuvering down there, but now you're fighting the ocean trying to pull you a different way. Eric Crumpton builds and runs remotely operated vehicles or ROVs for global diving and salvage in Seattle. He's recovered everything from tanker trucks to planes. He says every job is a delicate maneuver complicated by the harshest elements. What conditions are crews dealing with here? The Indian Ocean is uh, notorious for high seas. On a regular day, they're going to have 14 to 16 foot uh, uh, seas there. Crumpton says when the time comes, it will likely take the ROV more than three hours just to make the three mile journey to the bottom of the Indian Ocean. It's sonar and pings, the only guides in complete darkness. Six. Pilot Warren Poston maneuvers the ROV to begin the task of salvaging once wreckage is found. One, that's actually looking out of the ROV camera. A control room similar to this usually sits on the ship above the wreckage. Poston manipulates these tiny claws to maneuver his way to the debris. Take a look at this operation off the big island of Hawaii. The ROV using power tools underwater to fix a pipeline. Here, the robot struggles to pick up a small tool. This operation alone took two weeks in 2,000 feet of water, a small task compared to retrieving MH370's flight recorder, which could be about three miles underwater. You just sift through the trash until you, you find it. You might need to pull every piece of that trash up before you find it lying under something. The challenges don't end once the debris is collected. Lifting thousands of feet to the surface is a science in itself. Sometimes it takes several trips, the journey three hours each way. The most dangerous portion of, of any recovery is getting that from the water onto the surface. It's not just objects either. 239 people were on board Malaysia Flight 370. Warren Postens recovered other plane crashes. He's seen the graves that remain. How hard is that? Uh, it's, I guess it wouldn't be any different than a, a fireman or a policeman or a soldier. You know, it's a job. Keeping emotions in check, the delicate balance crews face while retrieving clues to an underwater mystery. Akiko Fujita for CNN, Seattle.